Hi, for today's video, I will be testing different Peltier modules and their performance based on their module number and based on their power uh, consumption and the maximum cooling output. That's what is my concern today. We'll be using water cooling system for uh, uh, dissipating the heat out. We'll be using three water blocks, uh, 40 by 40 mm. So here we have a Peltier SP1848-27145 SA. I don't know what's the specification for this one, but uh, it's, uh, it's not rare. It's uh, easily available on different we uh, websites, online and offline market. This is the TEC11705. This is uh, 12 volt, 5 amps. Everybody knows uh, uh, based on the Peltier module number. This is also commonly available in market. The third one is the very, very common uh, EC112706 is the uh, world famous Peltier module. So uh, let's find out how and uh, which Peltier is the best and how uh, all performs using a water based cooling system. Uh, I used uh, 120 mm uh, radiator which is I installed at the back side and behind this radiator is a fan which is already installed inside you can see the fan is already there so the fan draws the air from uh, these two channels basically four channels two on each side and uh, dissipate the heat from outside. Heat exhaust is from the radiator. And this is a small reservoir I am going to use. I'm using here is a RC uh, fuel tank and a pump inside already installed. Uh, uh, so this is basically a testing module. Later on, I'm going to make this uh, whole unit as a air cooling system. So the idea is the water comes from here and goes into this cooling block which is 40 by 40 mm. After that it returns back. So you can see marked with blue the cool water. The normal temperature water comes here, draws the heat of this felt here and goes back to the other one. Then you can say it's a cooling side and TEC1 2706 from TEC12706 it comes back out and it goes to the third uh, uh, cooling block and uh, from there it returns back to the radiator which is this side then from the radiator it circulates dissipate the heat a uh, heat outside and goes return back from here to the reservoir as you can see it comes from the top so here is how you can fill the uh, coolant I am here uh, right now I'm using a car water coolant uh, but it's a mixture of a mixture of a 50% uh, car water cooler and 50% normal water regular water you can use distilled water as well but in my opinion, all water performs same. Uh, it's not a big difference, not much different. You will not see any uh, different at all. But yeah, if you are using car uh, radiator cooler, uh, radiator coolant, that will perform definitely a little bit better. Let's begin the test and see which belt here performs the best. Right now, the temperature for each belt here shows let me just turn off the light as you can see this pelt here is at uh, almost 26 degrees on the starting stage this is also 26 degree 
and the top one TEC703 is also 26 27 degrees almost and uh, we have uh, not run the uh, belt here or the cooling system up to now so the cooling system is also 26.5 degrees even the even the tank filled with water is almost 27 degrees 27 and a half something okay let's power it up and see how does it performs The LED glows, the water cooling starts, as you guys can see, the water starts to come from radiator after the circulating. Alright, let's see how all these Paltiers are performing. So right after starting. You can see small ice, ice crystals forming on each one of these. But I wanted to know that uh, which one of these goes uh, to drop the temperature to the maximum and the coolest one, and which one of these uh, makes uh, the cooling rapidly. The main concern is. Uh, the cooling point of view so here's the gun let's begin the test this one reaches minus 14 minus 13 and a half something and this one minus 8 7.5 or minus 8 And the world famous TEC one two seven zero six reaches also the same around eight. And the most important thing is uh, people will might uh, say that the water is circulating, it is coming from this house to the first one, and then it's going back to the second one, which is. 1 to 10 to 6 and then it's going back to the third one basically this one should get more water why this is the last one before dissipating the heat it collects the water collects the heat from this belt here to this belt here the heat increases then from this belt here to here the heat increases again so basically this Paltier is facing more heat from the cooling block, water cooling block. This water cooling block contains more heat, but still this Paltier module performs really really nice, like it drops uh, minus 14 degrees. So I believe this one is uh, the best, uh, I'm gonna use it in my next uh, projects as well. And. <coughs> Hope you like the video, hope you guys enjoy and if you will, if you like the video please like, share and comment on my videos. Minus 12. So, the winner. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.